Hi, everyone, and thank you all for joining us today. Over the past three years at NI, we have been transforming our company. And today, we're sharing the new NI with all of you. Look, we can all acknowledge that the events of the last several months have changed our lives. And they've made me reflect and think deeply about my profession and our company and our world and how we can make an even bigger impact on it. And while we've been planning this work for some time, I have to tell you that we had real reservations about whether to move forward with it now. I mean, so many people's lives and livelihoods have been deeply impacted by these events, and the gravity of them made us stop and reflect if now was the right time to introduce these changes to the world. But to me, the answer was really clear. Now is the time. Because our world needs engineers, and our world needs hope now more than ever. All of you do work that in times like these is even more critical. From the manufacturing of low-cost ventilators, to developing clean energy systems, to inventing and enabling communication devices that we all rely on every day to stay connected. We're all living in a world that has been built and defined by engineers and technology. But the role of engineers has evolved, and so has all of our responsibility. We face so many challenges as a society. And this pandemic and the tensions in the U.S. that are born out of deep inequality has only shined a much brighter light on that. Never has there been a more important time to elevate the critical role that engineering plays in our world, to recognize it, to celebrate it, but most importantly, to mobilize it, to create a better and more just world coming out of all of this. We're here today to share our new company identity with all of you and to help me explain what this means, why we're doing it now, please welcome Carla Pinheiro Sublet, NI's Chief Marketing Officer. Thanks, Eric, and hi, everyone. It's great to be here today with everyone out in the world. The real question we were after was about what we stand for as an organization, what we fundamentally value, and how we fit into the world. NI has always been a purpose-driven company. And at this moment in time, our purpose is more relevant than ever. It turns out this moment coincides perfectly with what we're trying to do here today. We've been working on this for more than a year. And when we first started out, we had a lot of questions. We thought about how much the world has changed in the last 40 years since NI was founded. Your business has changed. Our business has changed. The market has changed. The world around us has changed. But what we value at our core, what drives us as an organization, those things haven't changed since the beginning. We went back to our basics, what we fundamentally value, the real NIDNA, so we can clearly communicate what we're about, what motivates us to innovate each and every day, and where we as an engineering community fit in the world. Here at NI, we're about enabling engineers and enterprises and the amazing creative problem solving you do to create a positive impact on our lives each and every day, in big and in small ways. And since the beginning, we've had the chance to work with forward-thinking people like you to make the world around us better. We believe in that, that it's engineers that have been at the heart of creating the most ambitious work of this century. We've spent the last four decades building innovative systems to connect people, ideas, and technology. That's what we make, but that's not what we stand for. What we stand for are the people behind the world's most innovative technologies that are making things better for humanity. With that, let me invite Eric back to talk about our purpose. Boy, Jeff's hardly aged in 40 years, has he? Well, you, our customers, have a rich history in engineering and in world-changing applications. We know that we needed to change our approach. And so we've spent the past three years connecting the right people, ideas, and technology to steadily transform our business to better match your needs. We've worked hard to develop new capabilities, we've hired and acquired new expertise, and we fundamentally changed the way we're organized, all so that we can offer better software and systems and better support your business objectives. And we aspire to elevate the test and measurement industry and to celebrate engineers as real heroes in our society. This new era of NI is defined by a bold call to action to each of us to engineer ambitiously. 
And today I want to share what that means to me and why I think it's so important. Engineering ambitiously means not waiting for the next big idea, but taking even small ideas and using them to make a big impact. It means recognizing that small innovations can add up to significant progress. Because at the end of the day, isn't that core to what we do as engineers? We take a small idea and we test it and we iterate on it and test it again kind of relentlessly until we make it into something bigger. And also, it's not always about the big kind of headline inventions or the world-changing applications. Those are really important. But so is the work that engineers do every day to improve the technology that surrounds us. They make it better, more cost-effective, and more efficient so that it can be accessed by everyone to make life better. Engineering ambitiously means breaking the stereotype of what it means to be an engineer and making sure that the face of engineering looks different a decade from now than it does today. Because getting the very best outcome, the best solutions to the challenges we face, it comes from tapping into the largest and most diverse pool of ideas. And we can only achieve that by harnessing the power of as many diverse minds as possible. We have to modernize what it means to be an engineer so that we can all attract and retain a diverse pipeline of talent. We have to celebrate the creative roots of our profession and use that to shatter stereotypes. And we have to inspire the next generation of creative people to want to join this field because they know that this is how they can make a big impact. Engineering ambitiously means boldly changing the way that we approach test and measurement, creating a new and better way through software connected systems to get your technology to market and make it more accessible. It means redefining our whole category, one that we think has been overdue for modernization for some time. Many decades ago, we disrupted the test and measurement industry through the introduction of LabVIEW, and we plan to do that again. And finally, engineering ambitiously means envisioning a better future, but not just talking about it. It means taking the steps to create it together. For us at NI, that means boldly transforming our company to better serve these ambitions. It means committing to our critical investments in technology. And it means offering you, our customers, the systems, software, and services that are needed to make your ideas a reality. That's why we're here today, to kick off a new era of NI. We're here for all of you, for each other, and for the next generation of innovators who think bigger, aim higher, and go faster. It's time. Let's engineer ambitiously. Calling all creative problem solvers, pioneers, big thinkers, the groundbreakers, and science's greatest caretakers. The ones who stare down failure and say, not today. The ones who connect people and ideas and technology to engineer greatness. This is our moment to stand up and make a difference. Our world is living moment to moment in need of that next big breakthrough. So let's come together and do the things they say can't be done. Let's engineer hope for those who need it most and bring world-changing innovations to all of humanity. Because this is our moment, our moment to stand up, our moment to engineer ambitiously. Okay, so what do we really mean when we challenge you to engineer ambitiously? Well, I think the best way to understand and make it real is by looking at what some of our customers are already doing, how they're standing up, how they're aiming higher, how they're pushing to really be bold, make bold decisions. And we're so proud to have had the chance to support so many of our customers, companies like ZF, RFHIC, Medtronic, and Ad Astra, and lots of others. People who work tirelessly and passionately to take bold action to make things better. And I'd like some of our customers to share with all of you how they engineer ambitiously. So we're going to start with the story from Ad Astra, which is an innovative spaceflight technology company. And they're dedicated to the development of advanced plasma rocket propulsion. You heard that right. Pretty amazing stuff. It, it's a unique form of electric propulsion that's used in deep space. 
Dr. Franklin Chang Diaz, CEO and president, was inspired as a child, as many of us were, by space technology. I know that's certainly one of the main things that inspired me to be an engineer. But Dr. Chang Diaz's company is wanting to really take action and propel humanity forward through this clean space technology. And Shelly Gretlein from NI got the opportunity to talk to him about his journey. Hi, welcome. I'm super honored to introduce all of you to our next customer, Dr. Franklin Chang Diaz. This gentleman has 1,600 hours in space, seven space missions, and is now CEO and founder of his own private space company, Ad Astra. Welcome, Dr. Chang Diaz. Thank you. Um, Pleasure. Absolutely. So maybe let's just start with an introduction about who you are um, and a little bit about your company. Okay. Well, you know, I like to think of Ad Astra as a company that tries to solve major problems, uh, major uh, problems that affect humanity. I mean, if you look at it in the, in the, in the big cosmic uh, context, um, one of those problems is the transportation of humans uh, and, and cargo in space. I mean, we, we certainly have been able to uh, uh, learn how to launch things into space and how to have lots of satellites, lots of activities um, near the, the, the Earth and the Moon. But for deep space, for moving uh, far out, uh, we need new transportation technology. And that's one of the things that we do. And then on the Earth, uh, same thing. Uh, we're trying to um, um, move um, the whole transportation space into electricity, electric transportation, mm -hmm. and by, by means of hydrogen as a storage of the energy. Incredible. It's, it's ambitious, actually. We, we have a, a new phrase we're using within NI of engineer ambitiously. And I'd love for you to reflect on what does that inspire within you? When, when has your team engineered ambitiously, kind of aimed higher, gone bigger? What does that invoke in you? What's going on today in space is um, you know the, the 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 commercialization of space. This is what's happening right now. Uh, space um, was the realm of big uh, uh, you know uh, national programs, you know government programs. But it really needs to be uh, economic. Uh, there has to be econ economic incentive. And so this this propulsion system will enable um, the transportation, uh, essentially the trucking business of space. Um, which is what enables our economy to function in our freeways today uh, on, on the ground, right? The big trucks that carry all the supplies uh, all over the place. Um, we want to do that in space. Let's switch gears a little bit. Um, I would love for you um, to tell a little bit about your own personal story, starting with when did you know as a child that you wanted to be an astronaut? What was that moment or that time or that feeling for you? Well, it was very early, very, very early on in my life. Uh, I, I guess I'm a child of the, of the space age because, uh, you know, I was born in the, well, in the, in the 50s, in the decade of the 50s, in 1950. And 57 is when the first uh, launched uh, satellite uh, get, uh, got into orbit, uh, the Sputnik, Sputnik satellite. And, uh, you know, there was, uh, that created a tremendous uh, movement of people looking up and uh, it captivated many of, uh, of my, um, you know, friends and, and, and uh, family, cousins, and so on. We all, we all wanted to be astronauts. We all wanted to uh, be space explorers. And little by little, I think that <clears throat> little effort and group uh, kind of uh, thinned out, and I was left alone. And um, I, did, did, uh, I decided to come to the United States and try to pursue that goal. Can you tell us a little bit, after you got to the U.S., what was your journey like, um, especially not speaking the language? Uh, what did it look like after you arrived? How did you get through those obstacles? I went to the university. Uh, I didn't have any money, so I, I, I went to, uh, first to high school again. I had a, graduated from high school in Costa Rica. Uh, but, you know, I didn't speak English, so I, I, I went to uh, a public high school in Hartford, in Connecticut. And I learned English uh, uh, by just going through the high school uh, courses again. And uh, I got a scholarship to the University of Connecticut. Uh, amazingly enough, um, uh, I, I, I received a scholarship and um, I became an engineer. It's incredible. 
Incredible journey too. We're really trying to help explain the value of test uh, and, and the value of engineering and celebrate that. Um, how does that Astra look at test in particular? Testing is uh, is really the, the name of the game for for us. In fact, uh, you know we, we are uh, using uh, your technology. Uh, it controls the rocket. Uh, we are we have a uh, a C Rio uh, module inside the vacuum chamber, and uh, that is what's controlling the rocket. We are testing a number of uh, features of the of the rocket that have to do with cooling. You know the the, the engine is. Uh, is an engine that uh, has a, a plasma exhaust that comes out at uh, uh, five million degrees. <laughs> something extraordinary. Uh, and of course, we have a very strong magnetic field that contains everything carefully. Uh, but there is some heat that has to be removed, and that uh, removal of heat is is crucial to make sh making sure that the rocket. Uh, uh, can operate uh, pretty much indefinitely, uh, and and the cooling system uh, has been uh, the subject of a great deal of, of, of research, uh, and that's what we're te we're testing today. Uh, those uh, first uh, features of that cooling system, we're we're doing that today. That's incredible. I want to thank you so much, uh, Dr. Chang Diaz, for your time. I appreciate your support of your engineering team to be bold. Uh, I support everything you're doing at Ad Astra to engineer ambitiously. So thank you for your time today. It was my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Wow, when I, when I listen to that application, I have the same sort of sense of all that I had watching the space shuttle back when I was a kid. And Dr. Chang Diaz's personal story is just an incredible inspiration. And thank you for sharing it. Now, while Ad Astra is focused on traveling in deep space, ZF is a company that's here on the ground uh, and developing systems that have enormous computing power. Uh, and they use technology like deep learning to capture a 100% reliable understanding of an environment and use that to control vehicles intelligently. Dr. Thomas Herpel and Anya Denari join us today to discuss uh, their application along with NI's Jared Ajo. Hi, my name is Jared Ajo from NI. Joining me today is Anya Denari, Senior Vice President of ADAS from ZF, and Thomas Herpel, Test System Development Manager from ZF ZoomConf Mobility. Hi, Anya. Hi, Thomas. How are you today? Great. Delighted to be here. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Hey, Thomas. I'm great. Thanks, Jared. So ZF, uh, obviously one of the uh, largest and most premier uh, automotive suppliers in the industry, but also maybe one of those names that the general public wouldn't necessarily recognize. Could one of you please tell me a little bit about ZF in terms of the company's mission and the vision uh, as it pertains to the future of mobility? So um, really, I think we, we provide the systems and the components that really enable vehicles to see, think, and act. So across those three domains, seeing being being able to view the road, whether that's through cameras or radars or LIDARs, thinking in terms of taking that data and understanding what does that actually mean and then acting in terms of now what do we do about that do we apply the brakes do we steer a different direction uh, do we uh, adjust our speed or our tra trajectory um, and so really the vision here is to make driving you know safer more efficient as well as more comfortable and uh thomas the question to you uh, ever since becoming a formal part of the ZF team, what is it that makes you most proud about working as a part of this larger team? It's uh, when you're an engineer and I've been studying engineering, um, and you can see that you're working on products which will, in midterm or in long term, be really on the road, which will bring benefits to the people, which you can really see the fruits of your daily work. For me, I think one of the things that really makes me proud to be a part of the ZF team is the impact that we can have on people's lives. So the technologies that we're producing are going to save lives, right? The, whether it's a, 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 um, emergency braking systems or emergency steering systems or any of the ADAS or AD functionalities that we are bringing to the forefront or bringing to the road, those are really enabling us to save people's lives. And so I think that's a huge motivator for the team as well. Thomas, if I could ask you maybe, um, when you hear the term engineer ambitiously, uh, what comes to mind to you? And maybe could you talk about some examples of where you feel that you and your team are, are engineering ambitiously? So when I hear the term, um, I think, first of all, of challenging new projects. I think of um, reaching new frontiers and even going beyond that. So um, for us, it's, yeah, it's exactly what we're experiencing in our daily working life. 
So um, as Anya said, we have these um, different levels of autonomous driving, which require a tremendous amount of data to be reprocessed, to be handled, to be stored and examined and so on, to give a sound system to the, to the market. And um, for us, this is absolutely um, new and, and challenging to handle such tremendous amount of, amounts of data. And um, with the platforms um, that we are now using from NI, we have the chance to build up systems that in this dimension we have not had before. Uh, Anya, could you talk a little bit about engineering ambitiously, perhaps from the perspective of the safety that, you, that your team has to deliver to build the trust um, with, um, with people, that they trust these new technologies that your company is bringing to market? Yeah, no, I mean, I think that's that's a really important point, right? It's uh, we are not going to put anything out there onto the road that is not completely safe. I mean, the whole DNA of ZF is around safety and saving lives. And so that's really, really important. And so test and validation then is an incredibly important part of that. And for every vehicle that goes out on the road with our systems in it, we have tested hundreds of thousands and millions of kilometers. Um, so it's a very, very important part of what we do. We do a lot of real world driving as well of course simulation between hill and fill. Um, could you talk about the role that uh, NI has played working with ZF to deliver these technologies? So, Chad, when two and a half years ago we started to really just to scan the market which type of test system platform can fulfill our demands for these uh, new technologies that we want to validate. And uh, we, we found out that the Pixar platform um, is perfectly suited in terms of its modularity which means from one project to the other, if we have today an ADAS project and tomorrow we're going to test a um, powerful ECU for AD system. We don't have to reinvent the wheel by setting up everything new, but we can rely on a sound basis that we have already set up, a core system we can reuse, which helps us uh, absolutely to, to save time, which is always a critical factor if you are in the project world today. Um, and this modularity, that is really one, one very big benefit, and it brings along also scalability, which means you can test today an ECU which has 5 to 10 bus systems or connections, and tomorrow you can scale it up to one that has 30 or more. So thank you both for joining me today and, uh, and providing NI the opportunity to be your trusted partner. Thank you. Thank you to you also. I appreciate it. Thanks to Dr. Herpel and Anya for sharing that application. I love how you're taking this bold approach to test and validation and how important the application you're working on is to really for all of our lives and safety. Now we're going to hear from Kevin Cho from RFHIC. Their goal is to create really new markets utilizing RF technology and some really incredible technical innovations. One of those innovations is called GAN on Diamond technology. Uh, and you heard that right. It's a semiconductor technology that actually works on a, on a synthetic diamond substrate. And it's a very power efficient semiconductor technology for telecommunications. Kevin is joined by David Hall from NI. Hi, I'm here with Kevin Cho from RFHIC. And so Kevin, I wanted to understand a little bit more about your company's mission. Uh, well, first of all, uh, many thanks to NI uh, for inviting me to this event. Uh, I am uh, marketing manager by title and uh, project manager for our advanced technology uh, division at RFHIC. So uh, the question you asked uh, about our mission, our mission is uh, through RF, shine the beacon of light for the advancement of people and the world. So Kevin, what does it mean to, to you at RFHIC to be a beacon of light? Uh, it, it, it means to uh, create new markets uh, utilizing RF. Uh, Creating new market leads to uh, many more people uh, being connected as well as uh, utilizing different applications uh, that could just open new doors for advancement of people. What are some of the technical innovations that you guys have, have really pushed the envelope in? Um, so our main, uh, I guess it's a, a, a stretch goal for us, uh, is that uh, we're working on Ganon Diamond uh, currently, and our main goal is to uh, commercialize uh, the product. So what are some of the applications that you guys are using GAN technology for, and why is GAN better than the alternatives? So from our perspective, uh, 
Our application mainly involves telecommunications, but within the telecommunication market, there's also a, a, a big power systems, uh, which covers larger areas, as well as uh, smaller systems, uh, which covers densely populated area. So uh, from our perspective, GAN is very efficient in terms of creating a lot of power, uh, but having a higher efficiency that most people require these days. Kevin, what are some of the most ambitious engineering projects that, that your company has undertaken? So it is actually uh, the products that we are mass producing now. So it was very interesting and it is also something that I am also proud of is that uh, the GAN material was not something that many people utilized uh, for such applications in telecommunication, radar and defense and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, and it was quite interesting. Uh, I think it was in sometime in 2004 or five uh, that I went to IMS and nobody was talking about the material GAN. Uh, and IMS is you know, one of the big uh, symposiums for RF and microwave devices. And it was quite surprising. It was because that we were very uh, keen on the technology as well as the you know, benefits that it can really uh, give uh, to such applications in market. So after a couple of years, uh, when, we actually pr pr uh, when we actually made a product and prototype for you know, samples and uh, things like that for customers. And I went back to IMS and everyone was talking about GAN. And it was just quite amazing uh, you know, how advanced we would have to be to actually prepare uh, for such you know, engineering challenges because many of our competitors are very big companies. Uh, they're, they're uh, in some ways, it's conglomerates. <laughs> and um, mm. in order to compete in those areas with them, uh, we would have to think ahead and really uh, for engineers to uh, break those boundaries and barriers that, you know, they, they might set up uh, when they are thinking about developments. So, um, so Kevin, in this kind of last couple of months of, of kind of different work environments and people working from home, what is one of the most surprising things that you've learned over that time period? Uh, so the, the main thing that I've learned is that uh, people strive to be connected with others, uh, even in those in this you know, troubling times uh, where people are locked down and staying home and not you know going to work and not getting those uh, connections that they desire, uh, and I'm sure many people uh, agree with me, is that uh, you know we always want to do uh, you know, what we feel and share those feelings and sharing what we have done with others uh, is kind of you know, what we strive for. Uh, and, and so that kind of connects with you know what we both do in terms of 5G and people are feeling the importance of being connected uh, with others. And in order to be connected with these people, they need these infrastructures, things like 5G, uh, to get them connected uh, in, in many different ways. Uh, even now, what we're doing now, uh, you know, video conferencing and things like that. If the infrastructure isn't there, it doesn't really feel like we're being connected when the video freezes and you can't really hear them well. Uh, you know, these little things. And people are seeing that now and kind of seeing the importance of you know, connecting. Well, Kevin, thanks for joining us. It's good to see you. I'm glad that we could uh, spend some time together. Well, thank you, Dave, uh, for inviting uh, me uh, to this event. Uh, I hope that uh, we can further our relationship uh, in terms of connecting uh, with the world. Wow, it's pretty amazing stuff, and thank you very much, Kevin. Now, over the past few months, we've all recognized how important healthcare professionals are. I mean, they've been heroes. And we've also recognized how critically important medical technology is. So joining us today now is Chris Robinson. He works at Medtronic, and he's going to be talking with Kyle Vosen from NI. 
Chris is going to share his take on the value of test and how it enables life-saving products to reach the market in volume and at an affordable price where it can improve the lives of more than just a chosen few. Hi, joining me today is Chris Robinson, the Global Test Systems Manager for Medtronic. Hi Chris, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Just to get things started, Medtronic is a pretty big company. In fact, it's the world's largest medical device maker. Could you tell us a bit about the company and its vision in your own words? It started uh, a couple years after World War II in 1947 by Earl Bakken in his garage. He was a tech that worked at a hospital. And he, at, at the time, there was nothing they could do for a heart that stopped pacing itself. So he got busy in his garage and he created the first um, outside of the body pacemaker and it worked so well, it just kind of took off from there. Medtronic's been around for 70 years, so seven decades. And you've been there for 30 years, or maybe more than 30 years. I wonder if you could tell us uh, what drew you to Medtronic uh, back then. When you, know, when you get a hug from somebody who has, you know, people in my neighborhood all know what I do. There's quite a few of them with pacemakers, and I get questions all the time. It's that extra thing that kept me so interested over the decades. Uh, could you tell us a bit about... Uh, the allure, what drew you to the side of, of, of test engineering within Medtronic? The real draw for test was the importance of test, and but not test applications, the test systems specifically, because every pacemaker has about 10,000 electrical tests. And we do about wow. a million five of these a year. And we have to keep every single piece of test data retrievable within 60 minutes for 10 years. And then when you partner yourself with somebody like NI, that owns the app software, they own system link, they own the equipment. It just makes pairing up those easier for our systems design. Chris, at NI we have a phrase we use and it's to engineer ambitiously. I wonder if you could share with us what that phrase means to you. If we could capture all of pay, um, cardiac pacing in a single instrument and drive the cost of test down and keep that um, quality of test high, this is ambitious. There are two other people who were on the line that would also uh, like to talk with you. Uh, we have here Amanda Webster and her daughter, Charity. Now, I know, Amanda, that your family has been directly impacted by, in a positive way, uh, the innovations and the ambitious engineering taking place at Medtronic. Uh, so I'll hand it over to you if you want to tell us something about that. Sure, we're glad to be here just to bring some real life gratitude to the life-saving technologies that Medtronic's provides. Uh, Charity and I here have been Medtronic users for five and a half years. A long time now. So Charity has type 1 diabetes. Um, she's oh. insulin dependent for survival. And we use a Medtronic insulin pump to uh, deliver her insulin 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and really a, an additional advancement that has greatly enhanced our life is that in the last 18 months, we were able to get onto the Medtronic hybrid closed loop system, which takes her Medtronic glucose monitor and, and sends that reading straight to her insulin pump to, to deliver a more accurate amount of insulin. It's just even hard to put into words the gratitude we feel for Medtronics as a company and their mission um, for all of your employees. I can tell by the look on your face you're a happy customer. <laughs> Uh, Amanda and Charity, thank you both for joining us uh, on the call today. It's, it's obviously very inspiring to see just the everyday impact that uh, companies like Medtronic are making in the way that NI can hopefully help them in that journey. I, I will add that I don't consider you vendors. I want to make sure that's very clear. And the reason I don't is when they show up at my facility, they got their pads out, their pencils out, and they ask questions. They're not selling stuff. So, and it's a partnership. Um, this is extraordinary. And as I've said it before, there's very few vendors that control all as many pieces. You have the app software, the system software, you have the instruments, and you have System Link. You tell me how many vendors you think control all of that for test. Well, with that, uh, again, Amanda and Charity, thank you very much. Uh, Chris, I definitely want to thank you for taking the time today to share your, again, your thoughts and stories and perspectives and also letting and I be a part of the incredible journey that you're on uh, to help Medtronic, but also to help so many uh, thousands, if not millions of people around the world uh, live more satisfying, safer lives. So thank you very much for that. You're welcome. 
Well, that is inspiring stuff. And Chris, we are proud uh, to partner with you. And I love getting to hear the, uh, the take also, the impact from one of our very own, from Amanda and her daughter, Charity. So all of the examples that we've seen really represent what it means to engineer ambitiously and the impact that it can make today and on into the future. We want to continue to celebrate you, our customers, and bold innovators and pioneers. And I want to welcome Carla back to the stage uh, and with her, Shelly Gretline, our VP of Brand and Communications, to tell you more. Thanks, Eric. And hi, Shelly. It's so good to have you. Thank you. Hi, it's good to be here. I'm so excited. And as Eric alluded to earlier, we do look different. We do look different. And our intent is to use this new look to better serve and celebrate you. We've evolved as an organization to better serve you, and we want our identity to reflect how dynamic, innovative, modern, and how ambitious our organization is, and certainly you are. Our new identity can now do a better job of communicating who we are to our communities around the world. Now, the first thing we changed is that we're just going by NI now. And to be honest, as a global, truly global company, it got confusing having National as our first name. And we're so much more than instrumentation. We lead our market in software-connected systems. And we needed to ensure that our name could make room for all of the investments and innovations in systems management, cloud, analytics, and much, much more. Now, that said, we believe the role of test, our entire market, needs to be better understood and elevated. Test makes the great ideas possible. Test makes new innovations reliable. Test ensures great ideas are safe. And we are committed to helping the world understand that important role of test. Exactly. And this renewed commitment to you, to our market, marks a new era at NI. As a company, we've always aspired beyond this moment, beyond the short term. In fact, decades ago, and many of you may remember this, NI put forth a 100-year plan, thinking big about how we create a world for generations to come. As we kick off this new era of growth, we're leaning into a fresh and modern green. Green is for going forward with you. Green is for growth and renewal. Green is for sustainable business. When we began this exploration, Shelley, you'll remember, it's been a little over a year now, we went back to what makes NI NI. And one of the threads that came up time and time again from customers and employees was that we are all about modularity. And we know the future of test is moving faster than ever. And we will need modular hardware to address new measurement needs. But we'll also need powerful software and data insights to connect test systems. And we've always been connectors. That's really something that makes NI special. When you call us here at NI, we've got the experts on the line, ready to work with you to make the right connections and solve the next challenge. That's absolutely right, Carla. And some of the elements you discussed even show up in our new logo. It's built on our roots in modular technology, and the pieces come together to represent connection, how NI connects people, ideas, and technology. And we believe that connectivity is gonna matter even more in the coming years. And that's why we're doubling down. In the past few years, we've leaned into software, making huge strides in creating software connections that allow you, our customers, to work and innovate at the edge, from web modules to system link. In fact, we have some exciting news coming soon about System Link Enterprise. And some of you may have also seen the news about our plan to acquire Optimal Plus. Yes, shout out to the Optimal Plus team. We can't wait to make it official and have you be a part of our family. We are so excited. This will expand our capabilities in enterprise software, providing you with business critical insights through advanced analytics. Yes, and an important part of getting here today is thinking about where we fit in the world. As we did that soul searching, we took a good look at our shared engineering community, at how we represent ourselves. In our industry, in the world of tech, it's easy to get caught up in speeds and feeds. Looking across the industry, a lot of what you see is abstract technology, but faces are missing. The technology is important, but useless without you and your domain expertise. We're not just about making tools that help engineers do work, though we do it and we do it really well. At the end of the day, we're in it for the people. We're in it for you, for our customers, for the engineers and enterprises who are doing really critical work in essential industries. You keep us inspired. 
NI is about people-first engineering that's working to solve humanity's most ambitious challenges. So our new identity brings a spotlight to the stories about people who are bringing all their passion to taking on the world's biggest and most daunting challenges each and every day. All of our portraits today are of you and our NI employees to support your business and your ambitions better than anyone in our industry. We also evolved our values as well. Yeah, that, that was kind of revealed through this work. Mm -hmm. And now our values are be bold, be kind, and be connectors. Be bold, you are bold, and we wanna be bold with you. This means helping you create the future by being innovators and creative problem solvers. It means challenging the status quo, stepping outside of our comfort zone, and making decisions swiftly, and taking calculated risks. It means holding ourselves accountable as the experts in what we do to help you move forward in your applications. And if and when things don't go exactly as planned, we must see it as a lesson to become stronger, faster, and better. Be kind, one of our favorites. This is not about being nice. It means showing constant respect for others with fairness and integrity. It means being candid, honest, and transparent. And it means creating an environment as we work together where we all feel comfortable, being our authentic selves, and more importantly, seeking that diversity of thought. Always being inclusive of the new ideas and the new perspectives, seeking the absolute most ambitious solution. And our third value is be connectors. We're here to collaborate and listen to your needs, to find solutions to achieve a common goal. We generously share our networks and our expertise to support you. Our values are the North Star for how we interact internally, but also externally with all of you. It's, it's how we show up. That's right. And as Carla said, while our name and look have certainly changed, what we stand for has not. In fact, we are even more ready to elevate the value of test and more clearly celebrate the role and impact of engineers. Since day one, NI has been committed to making a positive impact on our communities and on our planet. And now, like with our brand, we're bringing a new boldness and clarity in how we communicate this. Moving forward, we're using the term corporate impact to encompass everything we do to harness our passion and innovation to positively benefit our communities and the planet so that humanity can thrive for the next 100 years and beyond. We actually see NI as a platform for doing good. And for decades, we have given generously to communities where we live and work. We donate approximately 1% of our annual pre-tax profits to nonprofits. And in fact, most recently, we donated $2.5 million to support COVID-19 relief globally. And just this last week, we gave funds to support Black Lives Matter. Our employees as well spend thousands of hours volunteering in their communities each year, from cleaning up parks to mentoring students. And we minimize our environmental impact throughout initiatives like our recycling program and our green team's grassroots efforts to save resources at all of our sites. We're focused on how we can use NI's unique strengths, the things we do best, to make lasting, measurable change for as many people as we possibly can. That's why supporting STEM education will continue to be a primary focus for us. In fact, we're both expanding our commitment to it and honing our strategy to really focus on closing the opportunity gaps in STEM education for the most underserved populations. Absolutely, and what that means for us is helping more women and girls, helping more people of color, and all of those who've been underrepresented in our industry to see STEM as a core part of their identity. When more people consider STEM as part of who they are and what they're good at, we can expand diversity in engineering not only does this build equity in our communities, but it also leads to more innovation across our entire industry. One proof point of this shift is how our partnership with FIRST will evolve. We've long supported FIRST Robotics and we are thrilled to announce that we are extending our partnership. We have signed a six-year commitment to develop the next generation of our RoboRio controller for the FIRST Robotics competition. Additionally, we're now concentrating that financial support on girls, students of color, and low-income students. This will enable all of those students from diverse backgrounds to gain the valuable skills they need to be even more successful in school and hopefully, eventually, a STEM career. Let's now hear about FIRST's commitment to diversity, equality, and inclusion.
Here at FIRST, we are committed to reaching underrepresented and underserved youth in STEM. Those who are typically left behind, including youth of color, girls and young women, youth with disabilities, and those from economically disadvantaged communities. We know that to be successful in building an inclusive community, we need to be purposeful, deliberate, and focused in our work. That is why FIRST is actively engaged in developing and delivering strategies that remove barriers and ensure greater access to FIRST programs so that all youth can participate. We are excited to partner with NI as we continue our work to implement equity, diversity, and inclusion initiatives, including providing support to teams in underserved communities, providing equity training to coaches, mentors, and volunteers, and supporting our work with professional and youth-serving organizations, such as the National Society of Black Engineers, the Society of Women Engineers, Boys and Girls Clubs, and the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. We recognize that we have much work to do in this space, but know that together we can build a better future. We're so proud to partner with FIRST and evolve our impact in the future. Speaking of the future, you're about to see a whole new side of NI. In a couple weeks time, we're introducing a campaign that puts a lens on 100 game-changing breakthroughs and all the tests, tweaks, nanoseconds, failures, and behind the scenes connections that brought them to life for us. We call on all of you today to share your story. We want to feature you in our campaign. Please share your amazing Engineer Ambitiously feats using the hashtag Engineer Ambitiously as we are watching and excited to hear from you. And stay tuned to ni.com slash perspectives to enjoy a new piece of content every week for the next 100 weeks. 100 weeks. Yes, almost two years, Shelley. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. It's going to be something to look forward to each and every week. But in the end, our new look is simply a symbol. It's a signal to you and a signal to the market. It's time we elevate the role of test. It's time we celebrate the role of the engineer. It's time we celebrate you. So we have a new look, but more importantly, that new look reflects a new purpose and a higher ambition. We're committed to expertly connecting you to the people, ideas, and technologies that drive your applications forward and help you make a big impact on the world. And we look forward to partnering with you as you aim higher, and go bigger, and move faster. You know, everyone's talking right now about this concept of a new normal. But what if we set the bar higher? You know, we're all being given this opportunity, this chance to turn over a new leaf and start fresh. What if together we take the chance to cast away old constraints, leapfrog that new normal to a better future, to be even better than we were before? We want to be part of creating a better normal for your businesses, for your customers, and for society. We ask today that you share with the world using hashtag engineer ambitiously how your work is changing lives, making a difference, and improving the world around us. From all of us at NI, we think now's the time. Let's go engineer ambitiously. At NI, we engineer ambitiously. And we take our customer relationships to heart. We believe in the power and potential of making connections between people, ideas, and technology. Es un hecho. La conexión es central en todo lo que hacemos. Wir stellen uns immer wieder der Herausforderung, diese Verbindungen zu finden, denn sie ermöglichen es euch, das Außergewöhnliche zu erschaffen. Ma, holnap, és a következő száz évben is. This means bringing the right people together to build solutions that make a difference. Ini bermaksud menggabungkan perspektif yang lebih cerah dengan teknologi baru untuk menjadikan visi Anda menjadi kenyataan. Aspiriamo sempre ad andare oltre la realtà. Siamo curiosi e alla ricerca di nuove sfide. Ya kendre, namo gotto, navi got kaltitu, bhavishya nali nam ye dari di pa agate anta. Nous savons aussi que les choses ne se passent pas toujours exactement comme prévu. For more than four decades, we set the standard in automated tests and automated measurement systems. 
우리는 세상에서 가장 긴급한 기술 문제를 해결하고 보다 나은 비즈니스 구축을 위하여 우리의 시스템을 사용하는 유능한 엔지니어 및 기업들과 파트너 관계를 맺게 되어 자랑스럽게 생각합니다. De la data și automatizare, la cercetare și validare. Altated software connected approach is rooted in helping you engineers. What's next? As your trusted partner, we are committed to helping you set your goals higher and reach them sooner. We're here for you. Ik doe zeker And for the next generation of innovators who think bigger, aim higher, and go faster. It's time. Let's engineer ambitiously. Let's engineer ambitiously. Let's engineer ambitiously. Let's engineer ambitiously.